Well, good evening, everybody. This is Late Night Tech, and we're going to be discussing how to edit raw, unstitched Gear 360 footage in the Premiere Pro 2015.4 release. This is the release that uh, came out in July of 2016, and they've added some really nice 360 editing capabilities. It's just the start, but I think we're going to get where we need to go. So recently I picked up a Gear 360 camera. I've already had a Theta S, which I enjoyed a lot, but the video quality was really subpar. Uh, the stills were very nice for what they were. Now with the Gear 360, we take it up a whole nother level. But as always, we introduce some new issues uh, with all of our upgrades. So my thought was that maybe we could find a way to pull the raw unstitched footage into Premiere and we could work with it there, then send it over to Action Director or back to our phone to do the actual stitching. For example, sometimes when you have the uh, front and rear lenses just slightly out of exposure with each other, you get a really bad stitch point. So my thought was that maybe we could even do some masking and some uh, very simple adjustments in Premiere fix those kinds of issues, and then when they stitch, everything would become a little more seamless. So we have a little bit of footage that we shot here. This is a worst case scenario for the gear. It's hanging in the window of my car as I drive. And I listen to music. So we have a front lens, which is looking out the front window, highly exposed. And then we have a rear lens, which is looking at myself and my daughter there in the back seat, and it's fairly underexposed. Uh, and the stitch point in between them, we can already see right here, it's going to be pretty terrible. This is a small, confined space, and the 360 just doesn't handle that very well. I'm not going to try to fix all those things tonight, but one thing I need to do for sure is i got to flip this video. Right? It's hanging upside down on a window mount, and apparently after the last firmware update, it no longer inverts the image correctly. So the very first thing that I'm going to need to do is come up here and go into my effects, and I'm going to find flip. I'm going to find vertical flip. I'm going to drag it down and drop it on. Boom, right there. Okay, so then the next thing that we wanted to look at was uh, maybe do a little bit of color correction. So again, you could come in here if you wanted to, and you could find, for example, the color, and you could come in and you could do some basic corrections. We could adjust the temperature a little bit. Oh, that warms that up really nicely. And then uh, we could also even adjust the exposure a little bit if we wanted to. And we could brighten things up or lower things down. Um, I want to keep in mind here that we can also provide a polygon mask. So let's say, for example, I wanted to bring this lens down and this lens up. Well, then I could apply my effects, create a mask, and only mask out half the image at a time. So it gives me a, a nice way to deal with a few of the very simple problems we might come across with a 360. Now, the last thing is once we get done with this, we've got to export this in a way that's going to get it over to Action Director or to the phone so that it knows what to do. Thankfully, uh, just this last year, Adobe has added an H.265 profile, so Premiere now has the ability to export into H.265. So if we come up here to File, Export Media, okay, here we go. Now, if I come up here to my format, I can come down to HEVC, H.265. I've already created a Gear 360 RAW preset, and we'll just walk through it really quick. The only things that I changed were all on the video tab. So the first thing, we're going to come down just a little bit, and I'm going to bump this up to 25 megabits per second. Um, that is the highest allowed by the spec, and that is also what Action Director is going to use as well. 
and I'm going to leave the quality at good. Um, you can move the higher to a higher quality if you've got a better graphics card, then it's going to process a lot better. But uh, for right now, since I'm on a MacBook Pro, I'm just going to leave it at good so that it doesn't kill the machine. The last thing at the very bottom here, video is VR. We need to check that. And then we need to make sure that we choose stereoscopic side by side. So after we've done all of those things, we can export. Now I want to point out, this is a five second clip. So we are now looking at one minute of render time for five seconds. Uh, doing this on a PC, I've got a laptop that's got an i7 with, uh, I think it's a GT 850M, two gig card in it. And it takes about twice the playing time to render. So um, you want to make sure that you've got a solid graphics card to handle any of this stuff. We'll be right back. Okay, so we have finished our export, and now I can take a look in that exported folder, and I'm going to find my 360 MP4, and I can bring that into Action Director and stitch it as normal, and uh, go from there. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great night.